Oh, he's a good looking fish. He's a big ass. Good fish. Cal Kellogg here. You just watched one of my clients land an 11 pound rainbow. The fish of a lifetime for most anglers. I've never caught an 11 pound rainbow, but uh, I'll tell you what, I was honored to, uh, to net that fish and I, I was honored to put that angler on that fish. And that fish hit a trolling fly pulled about two feet deep, 200 feet behind the boat. That fly was out behind three other baits, well behind those other baits. And uh, you know, just over the years, the trolling fly has become one of my very favorite offerings for really big trout. Why is that? Well, I can't speak for the trout because, you know, they don't answer me, but I do have a lot of experience out here chasing trout on my own in the kayak, out here on the FHS guide boat. And uh, I've drawn some conclusions about trout and different baits. And uh, I've drawn some, some conclusions by talking to the anglers that come out and fish with me. I hear my clients talk about, you know, several lures all the time, Rapalas. Everybody talks about pulling Rapalas. They talk about pulling Castmasters. They talk about pulling full-size night crawlers behind big strings of flashers. Some guys talk a little bit about pulling grubs, but very few guys talk about pulling flies, okay? And to put numbers in the boat, I'm often trolling worms. So I need a big fish bait that is complementary with worms. Something that I can troll anywhere from one to two miles an hour, you know, really in that 1.5 to 1.8 speed zone. And I need something that looks substantial and something that looks like it's in distress. At trolling flies, check all those boxes. But more importantly than that is the fact that trolling flies are something that the fish don't see very often. You know, how many Rapalas do you think that 11 pound rainbow saw? How many cast masters did he see? How many guys have buzzed him with a, you know, a big long string of cowbell flashers? He's seen all that stuff, but when he saw that orange trolling fly making along right under the chop, first thing in the morning, he made a fatal mistake and uh, now he's residing in that guy's smoker. So by showing the fish something that, that represents a substantial meal and something that they don't see on a regular basis, you really stack the odds in your favor of having that fish strike. And for me, that bait is hands down a trolling fly. It happens to me every season, whether I'm out in the spring, the winter, the fall, I catch exceptional fish on trolling flies. I can't overemphasize that enough Trolling flies are a deadly bait, and I think their effectiveness is due to the fact that fish don't see them as often as they see more popular baits. If you're looking for trolling flies, you know where to find them. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. I got a couple different kits of trolling flies up there. I've got my standard kit, and I've also got my kit of broken back trolling flies if you're really looking for trophies. But I got that 11 pounder on a standard trolling fly so heck what are those broken back trophy flies gonna produce anyway i'm jumping off for now those are my thoughts about baits that hook big fish i'm certainly not saying you can't catch a big fish on a rapala because you certainly can you can catch big fish on cast masters but i think hands down if i had to go out and absolutely positively had to catch a larger than average trout i'm gonna have a trolling fly on the end of my line and if the surface temperature is right I'm going to be trolling that fly right under the chop. <laughs> 